internet variation. wasn't ready for this. Every spin's a win. This is out of control. 10 out of 10! This one, oh, oh, shoot. Are you kidding me? My name is Liz Warner, and I'm the director of editorial video for Bring Me. Over the years, destinations that we featured have had lines around the block, and many have even opened up second locations. So the Bring Me team decided to see if we could be the ones to come up with a viral experience ourselves. So the way this is gonna work is that we're gonna come up with a concept for a business, we're gonna work with them to actually make it a reality, then we're gonna make a Bring Me video about it, and best case scenario, the video goes viral and there are lines out the door. I'm Bear DeGidio. My name's Fernando Valdares. And we're from Groundhouse Burger. Oh, I'm in the kitchen loud and proud today, people. Oh! Look at the drip. He's not scared of the drip. 10 out of 10, OC Weekly. 10 out of 10. We had a number of different businesses that wanted to work with us, but the founders of Groundhouse really stood out. Groundhouse Burger is the full experience. It's the most disruptive burger brand in the game. We are here with handcrafted, taste exploding, palate electrifying burgers that you've never had anywhere else. That's what Groundhouse Burger is all about. What he said. All right, it's Tuesday morning and we're heading down to Groundhouse Burger to let them know that we have chosen to feature their business offering me. It was surprising. Oh, hello, Groundhouse oh, Burger. Oh, snap! When I went down to Groundhouse Burger, Bear, Fernando, and I discussed a bunch of really cool ideas, but I really needed to bring me team to take this to the next level. Here's our awesome team of producers. So we all sat down and looked through Groundhouse's menu, and we realized they had a really strong burger game, but they could definitely step up their fry game. Like, so, what if you had sauces on tap, kind of just like beer taps? Yeah, I feel like it's gonna be slightly too complicated to build, but yeah. can we just do like... Something like a flight. Yeah, flight oh, sauces. Oh. And then like all your fries in the middle to dip them in. Oh. Like a Lazy Susan. Oh! Yeah. Oh, yeah. I feel like it should be like a fry flight and a sauce flight. Oh, so yeah. that way you can like mix and match. What if like the fries in the middle rotated? Like the game, the in Vegas roulette. Yeah, the fry roulette. I love it. It's also super visual. Do you guys like the name fry roulette? Yeah, that's cool. So that's where we came up with the idea of the fry roulette. Three, two, one. Hey, Liz, how you doing? Good. So bring me team met after the brainstorm that we had with you guys, and we have an idea for you. Okay. So when I called Fernando, he was into the idea of the fry roulette, but definitely a bit worried as to how he was gonna make it happen. We're gonna need like at least 15 sauces. Like 15? we wanna fill up the contraption. Okay. Yeah, like minimum 15. Oh my God. All right, all right. Wow. Okay, okay. Uh, I know, it's a lot, but people are gonna go crazy for it. Okay, all right. Well, let's, well, we'll start working on it and see what we can come up with. So I called Fernando not only to explain the concept of the fry roulette, but also that this video had to go up right after Thanksgiving, so we didn't have a ton of time. Damn. Sounds like he's gonna do it. We'll see. 15 sauces. When the Bring Me team called us and told us what they wanted to make, we kind of stopped in our feet real quick. Because we didn't know what to expect. <laughs> we didn't know how to make this. We didn't know how to craft this. Smell it. I don't know if it's gonna fit with our sauce. It's gonna fit perfectly fine. These it's gonna be good. I'm an eater, you're a chef. Dude, these are gonna be awesome. No one considers this a french fry. So we, we were in the kitchen and Fernando tried to tell me tater tots aren't a fry. I said the onion rings aren't a fry, if tater tots aren't a fry. Onion rings not a fry. Bro, we gotta do it a fry, dude. So we met in the middle, because that's yeah. what partners do. We sat down and we said, listen, you get onion rings, I get tater tots, we both win. Yeah, game over, let's that's do it. it, let's do it. All right. Look at well, look what this. We got. What do you think? What do you think? It's oh going through your mind right now. You know what? You got your fries, you got your tater tots, you got your onion rings, sweet potato fries, you got all your sauces. So we bring it out to the customers like this, you know what I mean? Stack it hot. And everyone so would be like, all right, what's cool? They carry it like this together? Yeah, carry it yes. like this, and then once they get to the table, boom. Pick your size, pick your sauce. Let me just give this a try. Okay. Yeah. I'm a little, nice I'm a little stack. worried it's precarious. That's a nice stack. Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy. You got it. Yeah, so I think this is a great first start. I think we have to find a way to just put everything together somehow. 
What, what are you guys' thoughts on maybe building some type of contraption? Oh, you think I'm Bob the Builder? <laughs> Bob the Builder. Oh, I went from Burger God to Bob the Builder. Okay. okay. The only yeah. thing I do, I move my thumbs on Instagram. He's the builder. If you really want us to build it, we got to go back we in gotta, the kitchen. We got to map this out. Okay, we just left Ground House, and I honestly don't really see two separate items going viral unless they can literally custom make a fry roulette contraption. Like, I don't know what other options we have. So we had to go back to the drawing board. That's when Fernando decided to do some woodwork. Yeah. <sighs> this is so frustrating. I don't know how we're gonna come up with this. I'm out here with my dad trying to figure this out. Yes. Right now I have this, and I have to turn it into a fire roulette. I don't know how that's gonna happen, but we're gonna have to make it happen. Give me them french fries. French fries! So Friday was the last day we had to go down and shoot this video, otherwise we wouldn't make the deadline. So we just hoped that things would look good and the fry roulette would spin and was all in one piece. It's too good not to do try. it. Do it. Okay, you guys killed it. You nailed you guys, it. Yes, this is perfect. This is crazy. Okay, I just I already the fry roll it. Bring it in tight. Bring it in tight. Let's film this. Let's film this bad boy. Oh. When we saw the fry roller for the first time, our minds were blown. It was exactly what we wanted, and they did such a good job. And go for it. Um, do you want to have each of them already in there? Woo! Woo! Yeah. So we just shot some fries, Woo! and it was oh amazing. Gosh. Burger God <laughs> needs to get a new chain that says Fry God. <laughs> Walking by, didn't people just like stop? Like random people oh, no. were stopping yeah. and like being like, what is that? I want it. And yeah. like stealing fries. If people in real life were already trying to come over and share with us, yeah. like yeah. they're of course going to share that video. We that's a wrap, y'all. Yeah. Woo! What a shoot. How's that editing going, Brent? Hey, pretty good. Ooh, that looks like so much fun. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, I love that shot. Whenever we post a video, even if we think it's going to go really viral, sometimes you just have no idea. This is out of control. Look at all the stuff. Look at everybody eating together. Look at Brown House Burger and the Fry Roulette are bringing people together. This is what happens when you put together the best possible product and people see it and they experience it. Then they come to eat it. Then they tell a friend, 15 million views. Are you kidding me? Oh my God, we're going crazy. Look at all that. Look at all these tickets right here. We only have three Fry Roulettes left in the back right here. Oh my God, this is insane. I have all these missed texts from Fernando. Hey, how's it going? Saturday was insane. People were just really happy when it got, it, it, it's just a fun item. I feel like a lot of people came in groups and they just put it in the middle of the table, started rotating it. It was just fun, it was fun. Do you know how much it's bumped up your sales roughly? Saturday, we made at least $1,000 more than what we usually make. So it's, it's really good, it's bumped up sales. The video started getting so much traction that they not only had lines out the door, but other outlets started reaching out to feature the fry roulette. Yo, what's up, bring me? One week. It's been one week. It's been one week since the fry roulette was dropped on the internet. Food with Michael, Taste Bud, Insider Food, the list food is endless. Everyone. We said, listen, 
We did the fry roulette with Bring Me. But you gotta we'll, relax. We'll, we'll give you a little dabble. We'll give you life. a little dabble. We'll give you a little something. Let me just tell you something. We ran out of fry roulettes. People were going nuts. We even have surveillance footage of someone trying to steal a fry roulette. Yes. I said, Chef, I'm a little lean these days. You nah, don't have I mean, to go Lashon. get that man. Lashon, Chef ran up? out of the kitchen. He said, Excuse me, young man. What are you very, doing with that you roulette? Were very polite. Yeah. He said, What are you doing with that roulette? The young man said, I ain't doing none. Gave the roulette right back. Dropped it. Dro Dropped it. Uh, right there. Uh, Dropped drop it like it. it's hot. You didn't want that smoke. Uh, you didn't want that smoke. that's what happens when the burger god and chef shows up. Yeah. It's looking like it's about 50K shares right now, uh, which is doing great. The coolest part was just seeing all the people, all the tables having a fry roulette on the table. Like the owners just sent us this video of like every single table had ordered a fry roulette, which is just awesome. Like we saw this from nothing, like an amorphous thought to then now it's a real thing that you can go into a store and buy and purchase. And that is surreal, it's so cool. It's been a few months now, and I am so curious as to whether or not people are still ordering the fry roulette. I have a feeling there's probably still some orders. I don't know, but I hope that it has, you know, affected their business in a really positive way. Yo guys. We're back. What's up? We're back. What's up? So tell me, how have things been going? Has business changed? Are people still ordering the fry roulette? Business has definitely changed. A lot of people walk in more and they're like, yo, they, first they'll come in because they want the fry roulette, and then after that they'll check out the menu and then they'll just come back and try the rest of the stuff. In the first month we doubled our business. Yeah. The fry roulette with bringing in people, buying the burgers, checking out our magical burger, seeing our vegan burger. The fry roulette is a huge piece to get everyone here. Obviously with our second location and three more on the way, the fry roulette is one of our main storytellers to the entire brand. We ended up making a lot more fry roulettes because we opened that, that second location in Santa Ana, so. So you have a second, second location Yeah, now. we have, a, a second we have location over 100 Santa. fry roulettes going between both spots. Yeah. What? Yeah, it's crazy. That's insane. It's gonna be at every location Ground House has. Wow, We're about to go crazy wild. with it. Yeah. We do have to thank everybody that watches Bring Me because the support they showed us was the unbelievable. Best. You guys are awesome. We know you guys have the awesome. best fans in the game. Pushing Shout out to all like the crazy. Bring Me fans. You guys are amazing. <laughs> yes, Bring Me!